Hey everybody, Will from Studio Zombie 3D here. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Beagle camera. They sent us over for testing and review, and this looks like a very promising replacement for Octoprint. Let's get right into it. Once you open a box, you're going to be greeted with the user manual. This has everything you're going to need to know to get your camera set up and running out of the box. There are a couple QR codes included in the manual, so it'll help you find and download the appropriate app. Next, we have the Beagle camera itself. This is quite a handy unit. The hardest part about it is going to be figuring out where you're going to set the camera up on your table to get the best picture of your time lapse. I got a 32 gig model. The SD card is pre-installed in the camera itself. Here we have our power supply and the power cable. This uses a USB-C cable for the power. Also included was a micro USB cable. This will help you connect to your printer. The printer I use in my example uses an older style USB cable, but they included one in the package. You also get the key to reset the camera if you need to. Once we have everything in position, we're going to go ahead and plug the power into the camera. It'll take several minutes for it to connect, and you will get a voice prompt saying it is ready for Wi-Fi connection. Camera is ready for Wi-Fi connection. Once we hear the tone, we can go ahead and click on QR Scan Connection. On this first screen, you're going to check off that you heard the voice and then click Next. Now, you're going to connect to 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi. Once you're on the screen, you're going to move the camera and scan the QR code on the screen. You will hear a beep. Once you heard the beep, it's ready to connect. Next, check that you heard the tone and then click Next. It might take a couple minutes for it to connect to the actual camera. Just wait and you'll hear a tone when it's ready. Now we can go ahead and connect to the camera, and here we have a live view of our printer right now. You can go ahead and adjust the camera to find the position you want to leave the camera in. Just be aware that the bed will be all the way out front when it takes a picture. Now we can go ahead and connect the printer and configure the camera to connect to it. With everything connected, we can go ahead and click on connect. It'll take a few seconds and then it'll connect to the printer. Right now we are on the main dashboard screen. This just gives you information on prints in progress. Here we have our temperature graph page. And this is the control tab. This is where we can move our axes, turn on and turn off the fans and motors. After the control tab, we have our upload and our file tab, and then after that, our time lapse. And the final icon is our settings. This is where you're going to change your printer settings for the camera. Right now, it's set up as a Creality printer. We're going to need to change that. Now, before you do any printing, you're going to have to make sure you have your printer set up correctly. I am using the Anycubic Cobra. Right now the camera is set up to use a Creality printer. I'll show how to change the printer over on the computer, it's a little easier to see. But you have most of the same controls on the phone here. You can change your time lapse settings, and you can change from normal night vision to black and white night vision as well.
Next, another important step to getting the Beagle camera set up is you're going to have to adjust the focus once you have your camera into your final position. This is pretty simple. All we're going to do is we're going to remove the four screws from the back of the camera. That way we can get the front of the camera off. Once you have removed the four screws, carefully remove the front cover, being sure not to damage the wires and plugs that are attached to the front. Go ahead and remove the two plugs, the one for the IR light and the other one for the microphone. Here we have the lens. This is what you're going to turn to adjust the focus. I recommend setting up the camera where you're going to have it in its final position and then adjust the focus. Alright, here we are back over at the printer. This is where I have my camera set up for most of my recording, so now this is where I'm going to adjust my focus. I like to use the phone app for this because I find the video quality is a little better. You can click on the bottom and change it to an HD stream. Next, this is the focus area you're going to adjust. The lens on these cameras might be a little bit stiff and it'll take a little bit to get it turning. Just make sure you're being careful and you're not going to damage the lens. With the camera in position where you're going to be taking the pictures, you're going to go ahead and slowly turn the lens left and right until you find just the right focus. Once you have the perfect focus, you can go ahead, unplug the camera, and reinstall the front cover, taking care to plug the two plugs back into the main board for the front. Once the camera is connected to Wi-Fi, you can access it through a web browser. Just go to the camera's web address and you'll be able to log in. Here we have the dashboard. This is where your time-lapse videos are stored. They have a 2D renderer and a 3D preview as well, and a G-code reader. Now, in the sections with the settings, this is where you're going to change all your settings for your time-lapse video. I like to use MJPEG at 24 frames per second. The rest of the settings you're going to match to the printer you are using. In my case it's the Anycubic Cobra, so I'm just going to match all the settings to what I have in my slicer. Once you have made all the changes, go ahead and click save. Here we have the printer section. They have a list of pre-configured printers for you to choose from. And we have a time display for the OSD if you're interested. The Beagle camera comes equipped with night vision, color, and black and white, which is very handy. Now, here we are back at the dashboard. You have your status, your temperature curve, and then your file list. This is where you can upload all your print files that you have sliced. Once the file is uploaded, all you have to do is click on the printer icon on the edge here and it'll load and start the print. And here I am testing the night vision. Right now I have it on the color night vision mode. You can see it's pretty dark, but the picture is very clear and it's very bright considering. They also have the option for black and white night vision, which I find is a bit brighter, but you do lose the color. Now in the settings, you can change the night vision mode from color to black and white. I find the black and white is definitely brighter and clearer, but you do lose the color. And here it is. Really bright, really clear. This is a really awesome feature to have on the camera. Our print room always has a light on, so it doesn't really affect us, but this is a really handy feature to have. And here we have a couple of time lapses captured before I fix the focus. You can see that's a very soft image. And here we have time lapses after I fix the focus. Everything is crisp and clear and sharp. 
The picture quality and the time lapses you get out of the Beagle camera have been really amazing and it's definitely an octoprint contender. The only thing I say that it really needs is that they need to add a terminal to it so we can change settings on the firmware. I spoke to the company and they're looking at adding it pretty soon in the firmware update so keep your eyes open. Alright everybody, that's my quick review of the Beagle camera. I highly recommend checking it out and grabbing one if you're looking for an Octoprint replacement. They've done a really awesome job of making it super simple to get up and running. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to comment, like, and subscribe for more content from Studio Zombie 3D. Be sure to check out our social media while what else is going on in the studio. Thanks and take care everybody.